Right now, Sumter County deputies say the stepson of a missing man is in jail charged with murder tonight. We've been following this case since June when the victim, Claudio Carvajal, first disappeared. Deputies now say they have confirmed his DNA matched dismembered and burned remains found behind a home. Channel 9's Mert Price spoke to deputies, joins us live right now. And Mert, deputies still don't know where the rest of the victim's body is. Yeah, right now they're still trying to locate the body. They say the suspect hasn't been very much help. So right now they're reaching out to the community, asking people to be on the lookout, especially hunters who are out in the woods. Right now this man, Benito Ferrara, has been arrested and charged with murder. Sumter County deputies believe he killed his stepfather, Claudio Carvajal Hernandez, and dismembered his body. We don't know what escalated this and why he even did it. Officials say the victim was reported missing back in June while his wife and other family members were away on vacation. In July, deputies showed up to the victim's home and discovered human remains in a burn pit in the backyard. Yesterday, the medical examiner's office was able to determine the remains belonged to the victim. Although the ME's office determined the victim died as a result of a homicide, officials don't know how he was killed. We probably have located a 3 to 5 percent of the body, um, so there's a lot still out there. Officials say at this hour they don't know where the victim's body is. Investigators say they asked the suspect about the location of the victim's body, but he hasn't been very helpful. I think he actually mentioned one time during the interview that maybe birds are eating the remains or whatever, but we have no specific location where it is. We went to the victim's home today to try to talk with his family. However, this woman, who didn't identify herself, made it clear we weren't welcome. Officials say they want to locate the victim's body because they want to shine light on what happened to him, figure out how he died, and they also want to bring the victim's family closure. We're live in Sumter County, Merck Price, Channel 9, Eyewitness News.